Yeah, uh, what love is, you know, taking pride in this something, uh, enjoying it, you know, effortless working, and without having anything to gain from it. You know, a lot of people, we do a lot of stuff with, with love, not expecting anything from it. You know, that's because your heart in it is it's unconscious. Oh, that's what that's what what love means to me. You know, it could be whatever to you. I uh, it all started the whole with love thing started when you know back when Fernell, my manager at the time, you know, we was on a contract or whatever to do however many songs and albums. So I was like, man, my, uh, we was already in a situation where we won't, won't get paid for real or nothing like that. So I developed a passion for like deeply. And I was just thinking to myself like, man, you know, we really just doing this for the love of it at this point, you know, but I haven't said that the CD was gonna be called with love or not, but you know, that, that was my philosophy behind at the time of why I was doing music. So, uh, we, was on the, we was in the studio one day, it was me, Gaines, and Kiara. And uh, I remember I said on the track, like, uh, this, what, this is with love right here, or whatever. And I even wrote it on a piece of paper, the notebook or whatever. This is on Instagram too, you know. Uh, I said, you know, I'm gonna go with this title right here. It says a lot, right, to me. And I picked, I picked that name really because of how deep, how deep I felt about music at the time, which I still do now. I really took pride in what I was doing, and I wasn't expecting anything from it. I was just. The music gonna sell itself, you know, so I just put all my focus and just making the best music as possible. And that, you know, it takes a lot of time, really, to make a certain kind of music. You want it to be heartfelt, uh, genuine. And that's why I really named the joint Stuck With, with Love, really. All right, so in, in the uh, midst of it all, I know I won't gonna keep, I know I need the studio in the house. So, and it's, it, it's only, it only costs a thousand dollars to get your own studio, for real. When producers tell you that, that's real life stuff. Uh, but I have went to, well I bought the map. The map was like 300 on credit list. Uh, I, I met. Uh, we went to Atlanta to get the Pro Tools and all that stuff. We went on the uh, BET Awards, actually, but you know we ain't make that. But uh, we drove all the way down there to get the programs. I was trying to find it in North Carolina, Virginia, for the low, but no, one of the closest was Atlanta, so we drove out there. And then you come back home, I buy the microphone. Microphone's about three hundred. Oh, I paid like fifty dollars for for the Pro Tools and all that. It's crazy. You drive all the way to Atlanta for. Free. Fifty dollars. Uh, I probably spent about five hundred to get to that bitch. But uh, yeah, so microphone two hundred. You know the little digi boxes and the, the foam on the wall and all that. It's about a thousand dollars. That's about it. But having the studio in the crib was everything. Like it's so much you could. You could do in the house. Like you can't just wake up three in the morning and say, "Oh, I'm going to the studio." Your best shit might come at three in the morning, two in the morning. So, for me, that helped out a lot. So, with the uh, after coming up with the title and shit for the album, we uh, well, I said that I got the I got to have some kind of T-shirt promotion because I when I was with Collabo, we just had hella shirts. I look everything, all the colors, all that shit. So I said, oh, I got to have a t-shirt, whatever, man. So, when, uh, 
it took probably about a day to even come up with the with love design because I'm not really I don't really care too much about what stuff looks like versus you know uh, the quality it's, it's I mean it's that sounds funny, but the quality is gonna be up to par, but I don't care what it really. I'm, doing, I'm on the Photoshop, doing the design or whatever. I, it's probably like the fourth font that I was, came down to, and I was like, yo, I'm gonna stick with this. I wanna put a heart in there, so I'm like, dang, can't be no regular ass heart, cause that's just so cliche or whatever, so. A heart in general is cliche when you talk about love, but uh, you know, that's when I, I found the heart with the uh, scars in it or whatever, scratches. Because, I mean, you do beat yourself up when you, yeah, when you're doing this with love stuff, man. It really beats you up mentally and physically sometimes, man. It's, it's an everyday, it's a grind thing. It's your hobbies. It's what's, it's what's dear to you. Like, clocking in every day can't be dear to you. I don't care what you say or who you tell. Like, that ain't what you want to do for the rest of your life. But anyway, so I get the font and all that. So I, right, so now I'm looking for, looking for where I can get shirts done. You know, everywhere in Virginia is like they're gonna hit you in the head. And mind you, I'm funding all this shit on my with my own money. And I told myself I'm not, I'm not selling this. I'm giving it away. So I go, I find, I find the plug in Florida. You know, I get, I get about. I think about 40, 50 shirts to start off with. Just a test run. So I post on, on um, Gram and Facebook, you know, I'm about to be giving shirts away, you know, for the promotion for my CD or whatever. Man, the phone was, I couldn't, I couldn't get no rest. Like niggas mailing shit, niggas wanted, I gave away all of them. So I'm like, damn, that went really good, you know what I mean? Let me do it again. So, you know, I end up getting another order of them, another two, 200 and something dollars. <laughs> Gave them away again. Uh, all of them, everybody, you know, I was running out of sizes, people wanted them and shit. So I was like, damn, you know, all right, it's time. It, it, if it's this crazy for them, I gotta sell them. So then I go to, I go get another order, you know, after giving away, you know, $500 damn near. I said, all right, yeah, so I'm gonna need $10 a shirt now. You feel me? Everybody that didn't get their shirt, I'm sorry, you know, y'all, y'all, I, I had to get the people that uh, asked for it first or whatever. So them people gotta pay now. You know, all right, I'm gonna get this shirt, man. Get on, on payday or whatever. Yeah, yeah, all that shit. Payday comes, phone dead, silence. Two weeks later, they, uh, oh man, forget about you, man. You know what I mean? I'm still gonna get the jump, man, whatever. You know what I mean? I was like, all right, word. You know, and I ain't pressing nobody because I ain't, I'm not really looking for the money, but, you know, after, after 500 in the hole, uh, you know, I gotta get something out of it. So uh, yeah, it's just an ongoing thing. Nigga. Uh, people talking, talking to you in the circles. You know, they acting like they're gonna get it. And I'm not even mad at y'all for real. Uh, it's still available. You can still get it. You know, that's hit me up. You know, my Instagrams and Facebook and stuff. You my friends. You know, it's always gonna be available. Uh, no love lost. Recording. In the middle of recording with love, you know, I, I went through a whole lot of stuff, man. Like, you know, relationships, uh, money. Money is the big thing, though, because that, that stopped me from doing a lot of stuff. But uh, it took almost, after leaving Collabo Records, it took almost about a year and a half for me to drop it. And I never stopped recording, really. I was always finished. I knew what I wanted to use or whatever, but to be honest, like the last two months, I used the majority of them songs. You feel me? Like my best shit came right before the money came. And I ended up getting this nice ass job or whatever, you know, I got a nice little check a few times. And uh, I needed a thousand dollars to get the CDs or whatever. So yeah, uh, getting that, getting that job helped me out. I was able to drop the CD 
to get the CD together and uh, really, really push it. You know, it's been out for about five months now, you know, but uh, it's doing good. I'm getting great feedback on it, you know. I even, I even fucked up on a few tracks up there when I sent the masters in. I sent the wrong uh, masters in on, on two songs or whatever, but you know, people don't, people don't know that. So when they hearing this shit, you know, they just hearing the music. They ain't really, unless it's just awful, but. Uh, all right, so even uh, today, you know, I'm still, I'm still pushing the album. We still dropping uh, videos to the songs on the With Love. <laughs> and in the middle, we, uh, in the middle, I'm working on uh, my next CD or whatever. You know, it, it probably won't be as big as With Love and as much money and stuff I put into it, but uh, With Love was my foot in the door, man. I still ain't got my foot in the goddamn door, but I'm gonna ride that wave until I kill it, you know. I still got the merchandise, I still got, we still, we still doing videos, like I said, so it, it ain't gonna die out no time soon. But uh, I'm working on new stuff. You can go, you can go on any music platform and go get the With Love. Check it out. Uh, check my SoundCloud out too, Child's Radio. I be dropping songs periodically or whatever, just to keep uh, keep your ear tuned. And uh, I can't wait to see the outcome of all this, man. <laughs>